Hello, welcome back to our channel. I didn't say hello everyone because if you're related to me in any way, shape or form, f off now. Also, my family too, because sometimes we say your family f off and we forget about mine and then they're too far in to realize they should have f off. Both families f off. If you know me, no you don't. Today, we are telling our kinkiest stories. With the whip. What? It's not kinkiest stories, is it? It's kinky gone wrong. Today, we are telling our kinkiest gone wrong stories. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, grab your hand and buckle up your goddamn seatbelt. Make sure your airbag is on because we about to go for a drive. Beep beep. <laughs> this car is filled with terror and embarrassment and shame. So if you're not down for that, get the f out of the car. <laughs> and on that note, let's jump right in. <laughs> I should have had a drink before this. <laughs> One fact about me that you may not know <laughs> is that sometimes I use a oh <laughs> Why is this so uncomfortable? I feel like really telling our mothers, like this is weird. Sometimes I use I use a vibrator often, but it's not only when I feel like using one. Sometimes I simply use one because I'm bored. Before we get into the story, yeah. any ladies out there or gentlemen who ever uses a vibrator around here, do you not think it's a little strange that somebody does it when they're bored and for no purpose whatsoever? When you're not in the mood, you will do that even. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I would only do it if I'm in the mood. Otherwise, whoa. You should try it when you're bored. I don't want to. Why? Well, if I'm bored and I try it, things are gonna happen. Wouldn't that release boredom? Yeah, but you don't do it for that. Anyway, so I was using it this one day when I was bored, right? So Paige is kind of used to it now, like if she sees me using it or whatever. It's just kind of like indifferent at this point in our relationship. Yeah, we are one of those couples that are like, no toys, like without me. We're pretty chill that way. Yeah. Uh, any <laughs> sorry, we're really getting off. That's me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna shut up. I'm yeah, so I'm just kind of doing my thing, you know, and because I'm bored and because I have such a short attention span these days, not only was I using the toy, but I'm also scrolling TikTok. Um, as you do. I've been scrolling for like 10 minutes, I don't know. Before I came into the room, Before yes. Paige came in, you know, I'm not even thinking about what's on screen, I'm just hanging out, doing my own thing. Paige comes in, overhearing what I'm watching, and she's like, Mm -hmm. She strolls over to have a look at what I'm watching whilst touching myself. What was that? <laughs> We're gonna get cancelled. Literally, it was just, I'm like, hey, what's up, babe? Like, come into the room. I hear like this weird, like, <laughs> type of sound. Like, I'm f <laughs> scratching of metal or something. Like, what the f? And as I literally just, like, hey, babe, and I just happened to see her screen, what is there but a hoof? <laughs> A hoof of a horse and somebody scraping out the horse hoof. It must have been dirty. I don't know. They were replacing its horseshoe, but it's so satisfying to see it carve out all that gunk under the shoe before he puts the new one on. That satisfying me. I looked at you in terror. Hey Google. Stop. Sometimes it does that. I think a ghost lives here. When she starts playing country music because she hears about the horse hooves. <laughs> I'm deceased. Yes, anyways, I was in shock. I didn't even know what to say. What the f is that? <laughs> I come out of my trance. I put two and two together. God. Oh my f god. <laughs> I'm using a vibrator to horse hoof cleaning. <laughs> and we f lost our shit. I feel like I'll never forget that moment. Peter's like in the background ready to f kill us. Um, it was the strangest part of our relationship. I feel like that is when we knew there were no bounds, no limits. No, there's what. no secrets after that. I swore to never tell that story to anybody. <laughs> Yet here we are. You guys. I honestly thought I'd take that to the grave. You know we're out of content when we tell this type of story. Oh. Yeah. After that, I believe you did change the TikTok. I after think I laugh. turned it off after that. The moment was probably finished. Yeah, I'd had enough fun for one day, I think. <laughs> Shocking, to say the least. <laughs> we still joke about that to this day. Mm -hmm. It's torturous. <laughs> so yeah, that's the story of how Holly had a dirty O to, <laughs> to horse moves. <laughs> Hey, babe, you know what? If horses are your thing, mm -hmm. that's fine. You you go all up in there and okay, you do those horses. Uh, let's just be clear, shall we? It's not horses. Toys, maybe I have a thing for. Horses, absolutely not. I think it's both. <laughs> 
But if it is toys that you're looking for, I feel like I have just the solution for you, Holly. What? You just have to use Dipsy, today's sponsor. What? I'll tell you about it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, <bye. laughs> Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. There are so many stories to choose from, so no matter what you're into or what turns you on, Dipsy has you covered. Filter stories by a wide range of options, and yes, including stories with toys. The voice actors create a listening experience that makes you feel like you're right there with the characters. Talk about steamy. Find stories about enemies to lovers, forbidden hookups, and more. If listening to stories unfold isn't your thing, Dipsy also offers written stories and wellness sessions, including how to use a vibrator, tips for choosing and using a new toy. Did you read that one yet, Holly? Nay! <laughs> If you guys are interested, you can head to dipsystories.com forward slash Paige and Holly for an extended 30 day free trial. You literally have nothing to lose by trying it out. Trust me, you're in for something special. And they aren't horse hooves. <laughs> they sure <laughs> are. Check it out now. <laughs> All right, now that my solo embarrassment is out the way, now we have a joint story. We do, we do. And this one involves more than just us, doesn't it, Holly? This one I didn't think I could actually get over, solely because it involves Paige's parents. Yeah. This is the story that I truly needed you to get your seatbelts on and ready for, because this, to me, was just one of the worst experiences of our relationship and yeah. probably our lives as well. <laughs> Let's set the scene here. We had just recently purchased a new sexual toy. Yes. Yeah. Sexier than she's making it yes. to be. <laughs> I don't know why we brought it to the cottage. We had it packed in our bag for something before, forgot about it, and then it was still in the same bag that I brought up to the cottage. Okay, that makes sense. This thing is brand new. It's got different technology than maybe we're used to, different style of buttons that turn it on and off, okay? We still have it in our bag, and I don't know, I guess we completely forgot it was mm -hmm. there. Spent the lovely weekend with my parents. It was great. And then after that we were coming home with them so my parents are in the front or in the back just relaxing you had put the toy in your bag but it's not like there was like a case or something or like a hard shell to keep it yeah no and hard shell it was in like a little silk pouch thing the switch on this thing just to visualize here it's not one of those things that you manually flip the switch on this is a press of a button type of on and off switch okay the fact that we even had that in the vehicle on the way there was Danger. risky <laughs> enough and then on the way home my pleasant father packed the vehicle right to the brim all bags pressed on top of each other in different ways if you know what I mean pressure yes lots of pressure hmm. all the way around there we are driving it's a little windy outside and and it is and suddenly we're hearing some sort of wind like thing oh it's strange like it must just be windy and everyone comments on it mm -hmm. oh can you hear that wind yeah like, that's crazy yeah it just keeps going right we're like is one of the windows open no i don't think so none of us really catching on we haven't clicked and then all of a sudden i'm hearing that this wind has a specific rhythm or cha-cha <laughs> shall i say <laughs> z, 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 z. <laughs> I grab Holly, I go, no, not wind. This isn't wind. She's like, what? I'm like, this is wind. All of a sudden, both of us are in terror. Like, what the f do we do? My pleasant father now has to pull the car over because he has to get gas. But you know what happens when you slow a vehicle down and when you turn it off, the radio turns off, as well as any real wind or anything that would be going through the windows. There are no sounds in the vehicle anymore. And they're still hearing this noise now it's me Paige, and Paige's mom we don't know where the bag is in the back we just know it's in the back somewhere mm -hmm. so we need an excuse to start rooting around to find this effing thing and turn it off before anybody clues in my mom's like what is that in the back like figure out what it is we are like panicked at this point and i'm afraid that after my dad gets gas he's gonna go into the trunk and find the the culprit <laughs> suddenly i'm like wow i'm really hungry and holly you're like what the f yeah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a banana. Does anybody else want a banana?
banana? No, we left like three minutes ago. Like, I jump into the back. Where are the bananas? I'm zipping into the bag, trying to find this goddamn thing. It's shaking around. I click off and I'm like, here's the bananas. Who wants one? Everybody. And they're like, no, we just left. I think you owe me your firstborn for that one. My dad opened the car door after the gas was done. He's like, oh, I don't hear the sound anymore. I'm like, I don't know what it was. It must have been something outside. And my mom's like, yeah, I don't hear it anymore either. And we were able to sneak away. However, we made an extremely rookie mistake and tweeted something along the lines of like, what a great way to start the new year when your vibrator goes off in your family car trip or something like that, forgetting that Paige's mom follows us on Twitter and she spoke to us about it the next time she saw us, so. Wasn't that slick, was it? It was all for nothing. Well, you know what? At least my father doesn't know. That is something next level. But well, you know. wouldn't look us in the eye. <laughs> And I couldn't look him in the eye either. So that was one of the worst experiences ever. The cha-cha wind. <laughs> Rest in peace. Lesson learned here is that we will never accidentally bring a sex toy to the cottage or in a family vehicle again. It's I don't think that's the lesson. I don't think we should suffer because we're saving gas. That's my two cents. <laughs> I haven't learned my lesson. I just want a good time. Okay, and we can do that if we f put it lock and key in some sort of hard chest. I imagine the cha-cha wind in a steel box. Huh, nothing can press it. The reverberation. Or the vibration? Yeah. What is the reverberation? It's just a bigger word. Mm -hmm. Go get your horse hoops. Get out of here. Go get your dictionary and learn something. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Okay, oh yeah. God. Well, those are two of our worst. I can't believe I told my horse cleaning short story. There you go. You win some, you lose some. Yeah. And I lost today. And you know what? I'm sure we have others. We do have a lot, but I am not sure I'm ready to tackle those yet. <sighs> it all depends on how many thumb blasts we get. How many for more? 20? Ooh. Well, <laughs> thousand. 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 <laughs> We won't hit 20,000. I think that's safe. We hope you enjoyed today's kinkiest... What happened? Stories gone wrong. Kinkiest stories gone wrong, and uh, maybe we'll do them next time. If we get 20,000 likes, that is. 